Welcome to Movie Speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. The creator is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe for more updates. In an alternate version of Earth, humanity begins developing robots with advanced AI, imitators, or simply sims. They quickly become part of your daily life. To make it more human-like, people voluntarily scan their faces and recreate them on the robot. Soon, your sims will not only be workers, but also allies, athletes, and even law enforcement. In 2055, based on government simulations, a nuclear warhead detonates in Los Angeles, incinerating nearly a million people. While the Western world is united in banning all uses of AI, New Asia still supports and maintains Sims as equal citizens. The United States begins a mission to annihilate all Sims and constantly attacks New Asia to achieve their goal. Your primary weapon is the Nomad, a giant space station designed to skin the terrain for signs of Sims and wipe them out in no time. The Army's main objective is to find a person called Nirmata who is the leader and scientist behind the AI. Progress. Ten years later, a group of American soldiers appeared on the shores of New Asia while nomads monitored the area from the air. Joshua lives nearby with his pregnant wife Maya, who has a very special tattoo. Suddenly hearing a noise, Joshua puts on a robot limb and investigates to find his sim friend. They are a group of guards led by Haroon, who brought in an American soldier named Drew who snuck into the area and captured him. Sim tries to hit Drew to get him to talk, but Drew doesn't say anything and nomad approaches him. The group decides it is time to leave to find a new hiding place, and while Maya packs, Haroon's group rushes to prepare the boat. Once alone, Joshua scolds Drew for not giving him more time. It turns out that he is also an American soldier on an undercover mission and that he married Maya because she is Nermita's daughter. As the Sim soldiers join up with the Americans and a gunfight begins outside, Joshua grabs Drew's radio and asks his commander to stop the attack since Nirmata is not with him. Upon hearing this, Maya becomes very upset that Joshua did not actually leave the army as promised and pulls a gun on him, but is interrupted by soldiers dragging Joshua out of the house. Maya escapes and joins the sims in her boat but at that moment the nomad fires a missile killing all the sims five years later joshua has returned to the united states and is trying to maintain his civilian life he is heavily medicated to treat post-traumatic stress disorder sees a therapist regularly and is given a lie detector test to see if he is hiding information he works as part of the cleaning team at his ground zero and one afternoon he and his colleagues discover a robot that suddenly comes to life shaking their limbs as if begging for mercy the all too real sound causes his co-workers to panic but joshua quickly stops stops it and reminds his co-workers that they are just machines with no emotions. Any robots they find are destroyed. Sometime later, Joshua is watching a video of Maya at her house and remembers when she adjusted the robot's limbs. He said he lost her when the atomic bomb exploded in Los Angeles and also lost her entire family that day. He then goes swimming, but is suddenly approached by General Andrews and Colonel Howell, who ask him to help with the mission. They learn that the Nirmata is developing a superweapon that could destroy the nomads, and without this ship the United States will lose the war. Joshua is the only one who knows the the layout of the lab, so he must lead the team to destroy this superweapon. At first, Joshua refuses, pointing out that this wouldn't have happened if they hadn't blown up the mission, reminding him that they killed his wife. However, he quickly changes his mind when Howell shows him a holographic video proving Maya is still alive and using a superweapon. At midnight, Joshua joins Howell's team and they fly to New Asia. After the nomads scan the area, the team lands in a field and Joshua takes them to a laboratory, only to find that a village has been built there. The soldiers decide to invade and begin interrogating the locals keeping them on their knees at gunpoint. McBride threatens to shoot a child's dog, causing the little girl to cry and shake her arm. Joshua realizes she's pointing at an altar, and when he twists a totem, the entrance to the lab appears. McBride and Bradbury stay outside as guards, and the rest of the team enters the lab, where they go through a long corridor to find the technicians and shoot them all down. Joshua checks the security cameras and sees Maya should be around too. The team continue to shoot more scientists, but this time the workers lock the bulletproof door. Joshua explains that the lock can only be opened with facial recognition, so one of the soldiers will record the face of the technician who died while grabbing the knife. Meanwhile, Bradbury notices the police approaching and fires several rockets before pretending to surrender. The police try to arrest them, but Bradbury's rocket hits them, killing all the Sims instantly. Unfortunately for her, more police officers soon arrive and fire on her, forcing her to take cover. The team manages to penetrate deep into the laboratory and find a safe that requires hacking to access. Shipley and Joshua continue with the rest while the others run to fight the incoming guards. However, they soon begin begin to lose strength and Shipley comes to their rescue. When the computer was finally unlocked, Joshua opened the safe and went inside to find a couch where a child was watching TV. Joshua is shocked to learn that the child is a sim, something that has never happened before. Suddenly, a scientist appears behind him and shoots him before telling him to open the emergency exit for the child and find Nirmata. 
Children come out of the laboratory and observe the outside world for the first time, but they also encounter many conflicts in the field. Joshua follows her and tries to find Maya among the running scientists, but to no avail. The rest of the team returns to the plane and explains that they have lost the battle and must leave before the nomads open fire. But Howell wants to clarify something first and leaves. Bradbury runs as fast as he can to get back, but something hits his back. She manages to board the plane before it takes off, but she discovers that a bomb has been attached to her body, which detonates in midair. Just before the nomads Nomads bombed the area. A plane crashes nearby, knocking Joshua unconscious. The next morning, Joshua wakes up on the boat and finds a robot girl staring at him. He threw her stone to make her leave, but the girl just threw her stone back at him. Joshua then investigated the area and found Shipley injured, so he picked him up and took him to an abandoned house to avoid police officers searching the area. Suddenly, I heard a noise and realized that my child was following me and watching TV. Joshua turns it off, but the child turns it back on with a simple wave of his hand, and Joshua realizes he is a super weapon. Just then, a call from Howell rings on Joshua's communicator, drawing the attention of a nearby farmer Sim. Joshua tells Howell about her child and the colonel orders Joshua to kill her, but the conversation is interrupted when Howell is surrounded by police. She was quickly arrested and thrown into a van with McBride and Officer Bowie. Back to Joshua's story, he hesitates to shoot the child and puts down the gun when he notices the girl drawing a Mayan tattoo. Suddenly, they are discovered by a farmer who promises to protect Alfie. As Joshua's interpreter reveals Sim's plan, he immediately fires first, killing the farmer but alerting the police to their location. Joshua asks Alfie where he can find Maya and her child says she is in Dean Dan. At that moment, Joshua drags Shipley and the girl into the farmer's truck as the police surround the house and open fire. When the police threw a grenade at them, a dog grabbed it and carried it outside, blowing up all the police and the remaining debris, barking. The girl then uses her powers to start a truck and her group manages to escape. Meanwhile, McBride and Howell work together to kill Bowie, hijack the van, and turn around to search for Joshua. Moments later, Shipley points a gun at Joshua and demands a hospital, but Joshua explains that he is taking him to his friend's house because it is too far from the American military base. Unfortunately, Shipley's wounds were too severe and he died in the truck. Just then, Joshua notices a car approaching and hides the little girl's robot head behind her hat, revealing that she has Alpha Omega written in her ears as she has no name. I named him Alfie. When the car stopped, Joshua approached the driver with a gun and demanded a ride to town. A short time later, McBride and Howell discover an abandoned car and Shipley's body. Howell uses a device to transfer Shipley's consciousness into Bowie's Sim's body for 30 seconds, but Shipley panics when he sees his body and tells him that Joshua has taken him to her friend. Just then, he died again. In the evening, the car is stopped at a checkpoint as authorities receive wanted posters for Joshua and Alfie. Joshua hides in the back of the car, but a police officer notices Alfie and tells him to take off his hat. Alfie uses her own powers to cause a power outage in the area, sparks the shield and distracts everyone, then restarts and takes control of her car and drives into the city, successfully escaping the police. To do Howell and McBride also learned of their escape as it was shared on police radio waves. Meanwhile, a police officer with Bowie's face from the same donor discovers a body on the road. Later, in the city, Joshua tries to ask Alfie where Dian Dang is, but Alfie does not answer. At that moment, the police show up and Joshua drags Alfie onto the train and flees. Joshua sees other women who look like Maya, but they are just Sims wearing faces provided by Maya. During the trip, Alfie asks many existential questions, so Joshua explains that good people go to heaven. He doesn't think he's good enough for it and Alfie isn't human either so he doesn't think he can go. After falling asleep, Joshua remembers the day Drew asked him to marry Maya to get information. He also gave her a wedding ring with a special tracker inside. When the two get off the train in the evening, they see wanted posters posted on screens all over the city. While a citizen notices them and calls the police, Joshua takes Alfie to the simulation factory to meet his girlfriend's friend, who turns out to be Drew. After the night of the attack, Drew changed his mind and is now pro-AI, even dating a sim named Cammy. Joshua asks Drew to find out Maya's whereabouts from Alfie, but the boy acts extremely mysterious. When Joshua asks if he can track down Maya, Maya's ring instead. Drew says she is dead, but Joshua refuses to believe it. While Cammy distracts Alfie, Drew tells Joshua the test results. Drew can grow. The scope of her power is limited at the moment, but it will also increase and eventually she will be able to control all technology remotely. At that moment, Alfie tells Cammy that someone is coming to pick him up, but when Cammy confirms it is just a food delivery. After she closes the door, her delivery man reveals himself to be another buoy and is joined by several police officers before setting off the bomb in the food box, killing Cammy. 
The cops then come and try to arrest Alfie, but Joshua arrives and starts shooting everyone dead while Alfie quietly watches TV. Joshua shoots Bowie in the face and uses the police gun to kill the remaining Sims, but they hear more police cars approaching. He attempts to escape, grabbing Alfie and a grieving Drew just before the police arrive. As the Sims search the building, two police officers identify themselves as Howell and McBride. Howell takes Cammie's head and plans to hack her as well. Sometime later, Drew's computer tracks the ring and discovers it at Joshua's old house. When they get there, Joshua quickly enters the house, but finds the ring on the flooded floor. As they watch the surveillance footage of the attack, Alfie comes to warn them that soldiers are coming, but Joshua gets angry and screams at them. Alfie starts crying and Joshua finally accepts her as her human and hugs her girlfriend and apologizes. Suddenly, Drew comes in to warn of the attack, but is shot down. Before his death, he reveals to Joshua that Maya is near Mata and that is why they attacked five years ago. They were not allowed to speak of it because Joshua loved them. Joshua tries to escape with Alfie, but is immediately surrounded by Sim soldiers led by Haroon, and Joshua loses consciousness. That night, Joshua meets Maya at a bar and dreams of the story she told him. His father had taught her everything about her AI, but after her war started she had to flee, so she loved her just like any human. Raised by simulants, the next morning, Joshua wakes up in a cell on the ship. Haroon comes to see him and explains a few more things. Maya's father was the original Nirmata, but after he died she became the new one and created Alfie to stop Nomad. The nuclear bombing in LA was caused by a programming error from the humans and they blamed the machine for the mistake. If the Sims win the war, they don't plan to do anything to the Western world, they just want to live in peace. The army is using Joshua's wish to see Maya to make him guide them to her. Haroon considers killing Joshua, but he's interrupted by some noise outside. Nomad is blowing up their base. Joshua convinces Alfie to help him escape, he jumps into the sea, and the soldiers fire into the water. As soon as they believed that Joshua was dead, the boat departed without realizing that Joshua was hiding below. When they arrive in the city, Joshua sneaks around and observes how the Sims and humans live in harmony. People mourn the fallen robot, and Sim teacher speaks to the children about peaceful coexistence. That night, Joshua waits for Haroon to fall asleep and presses a button on his head to put it into standby mode. Joshua and Alfie try to escape by boat, but at that moment an alarm alerts them to the arrival of American troops. A huge tank destroys buildings and starts firing missiles. Seeing this, Alfie wanted to help people and left Joshua. Death and destruction spread throughout the region, with both sides losing many soldiers. Howell sends a very simple robot onto the bridge, which explodes and kills more soldiers. Howell then sends a second walking bomb, but is thwarted by Alfie, who uses her powers to stop the bomb. Unfortunately, McBride appears and shoots Alfie, and an angry Joshua jumps in to kill him. The bomb goes off again with Alfie unconscious, and Joshua escapes with the child before the bridge is destroyed. Haroon agrees to take Joshua to Nirmata to repair Alfie while the others continue the fight. Not far from there, Howell reconstructs instructs Kami and injures her to get her information, then kills her again. During the trip, Haroon reveals that Maya completed Alfie days before the attack and created her by scanning her own fetus, meaning that Alfie is a copy of Joshua's dead baby. Finally, Alfie is taken to a special temple by some monks. Joshua asks if this is Dindon. The monk explains that this word means heaven and means Maya is dead. Devastated, Joshua enters the temple inn and finds a recovered Alfie resting next to Maya's body, connected to S machine. Another monk explained that Maya had been like this for five years but that she was not actually alive, just her machine keeping her body moving. Since Sims is not allowed to violate Nirmata, it is up to him Joshua to free them forever. Joshua tearfully apologizes for everything and turns off the machine. At that moment, the Americans arrive and start killing all the Sims in the area. Howell enters the temple inn, and while pointing her gun at Joshua, and she begins downloading Maya's consciousness onto a chip, Haroon also appears and shoots Howell, and two other soldiers shoot him. Reply. Howell approaches to check on her, but it turns out she has a bomb on her back, which Alfie activates killing her and two of her soldiers. Then Haroon stands up and tells Joshua to destroy Nomad, so Joshua leaves with Alfie and Maya's chip. Unfortunately, they are immediately found by the Americans, who separate them before taking them away while Nomad blows up the area. Later in the LA base, Andrews tells Joshua to kill Alfie because they can't get any information out of her. Joshua comes closer and whispers something to Alfie, causing her to go off. Seeing her vitals drop on the screen, Andrews assumes she's dead. Joshua then takes Alfie to the incinerator, but along the way Alfie realizes that he is fine. Joshua had just asked her to go into standby mode. The girl uses her own powers to crash her car and block her road, giving Joshua time to take her and escape. The duo races to the spaceport. There, Alfie uses her S power to power her onboard engine and let them pass. As they escape on a plane, Andrew sends orders to the pilot to make them fly back. However, Alfie uses her powers again and guides the plane toward Nomad. After all the 
civilians come off the plane. The guards come inside, but Joshua opens the doors to create a vacuum, causing all the guards to get ejected into the sky. Afterward, Joshua prepares an explosive, so Andrews responds by preparing a massive attack on all the Sim bases. When Joshua sees the missiles getting ready, he gives Maya's chip to Alfie and tells her to stop the attack while he installs the explosive. Alfie runs through a few corridors until she reaches the right room and uses her power to stop all the missiles just in time. When Joshua plants a bomb that will explode within 10 minutes, Alfie runs back, but takes the wrong hallway and finds a room full of sleeping sims, including one resembling Maya. She quickly took it out and installed the chip, but unfortunately it didn't work. At this moment, several rockets managed to crash, destroying several robot villages. The oxygen in Joshua's suit runs out, but Alfie appears and takes him to a room with air while they prepare an escape pod. Enraged, her Andrews unleashes the ultimate weapon. A giant octopus-like robot captures Alfie. Joshua quickly stops the escape pod and the door cuts off the robot's tentacles, freeing Alfie. As Andrews prepares another massive attack, Robot catches Joshua, but Alfie uses her powers and drops it on Joshua before dropping him. During the attack, the door of S capsule was broken, and as S duo struggled against it, the bomb finally detonated. When Nomad begins to explode, S attack is canceled and the missile lands without exploding. With time running out, Joshua tells Alfie he will meet him in heaven before releasing her pod. Joshua then leaves the room and waits for the finish, only to find that Maya's sim is still working. The lovers run toward each other and kiss before they both die in an explosion. Alfie's capsule lands safely on Earth, and she joins in the celebration of the rogues being finally free. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.